welcome to day two of my 12 days of Easter and I'm in the home garden in the greenhouse today to repot my chilies. How good do these chilies look? This is about as good as my chilies looked for the whole season last year. So the fact that we're only in mid-March and no, it was the end of March now, aren't we? Anyway, these were sown on the 8th of January and uh, and that's the size they are now they are a little bit leggy they've obviously been in the house they've been on the uh, windowsill they benefited from a grow light uh, early on and um and then when they got too tall uh for the shelving with the grow lights on the top um they got shunted out and um, moved just onto the windowsill but i am i'm so pleased with how these are doing and i don't want to mess them up now <laughs> i want to keep them going well and they are desperate to be repotted i don't know how much there's not much root action actually to be seen um i hope it's not all top growth and there's no roots um but <clears throat> they have a lovely green color um, their stems do look fairly strong even though they are leggy I have been tickling them as I pass by um, how many varieties do we have here I'm not sure now we'll have to see as we as we repot them I've given them a little soak um, so the compost is damp and that will help taking them out of these cells and then putting them into hmm I think about a I think a bit more than a nine centimetre pot. What do you think? I want them to stay in this next pot until they go into their final pot, I think. Let's have a look. Okay, I found these ones. And this, according to my Hori Hori, is a four inch pot. So that's a um, 10 centimetre pot. How deep is it? It is three inch deep, which is about 7.5 uh, 7 centimetres. So that's what I'm going for. Uh, in part because I've got a lot of them <laughs> and we have so I've given one chili away so I've now got 18 no 17 plants um, not to mention um, some that I've got that are still very small which were the, my second sowings um, do not need that many chili plants um, we'll, but we're going with it for now <laughs> So I'm going to repot all of these. Some will probably end up as um, as gifts, but I definitely want one of each variety. So let's pot these on and uh, see which varieties we have. Okay, so for each chili plant, I'm going to put in a little bit of compost just on the bottom of the tray. Um, and the reason I'm not putting much in is because I want to bury the stems of these chilies to help them to become sturdier plants, less leggy plants. So here we go. Here's the first one. And yeah, there are good roots on there. That's not bad at all. <laughs> so this one is Portugal. And I'm going to pop it all the way in. Okay. So it looks like I can bury right up to the seed leaves there. I don't think you have to worry too much if you do cover up the seed leaves. You could even perhaps snip them off. Um, but this seems to, for this uh, height of pot, it seems to just be about right. Okay, um, so I'm just going to firm it in lightly. I think sometimes I'm a bit heavy handed at firming. But there we go. Lovely. And there, label in, we have one really smart looking chili plants. Now I'm not going to do uh, all 17 of these with you, but I did just want to show you this one. So this is um, orange habanero and look at the size of that one. <laughs> Rather different in comparison. And I've got another habanero, that one, also very small. Um, maybe these are just small chilies, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, I'm going to treat them the same, but perhaps not put them in quite such big a pot as these ones. So let's find a smaller pot. Okay, I'm going to go for those ones. Okay. So I'm assuming this won't come out so easily with a nice root ball. Uh, maybe I need my fork. Oh, it's got quite a few roots. Didn't quite hold all together. It's gone into the other thing a little bit. These, um, these are kinds of cell trays they have the little gaps so the roots travel into the other cell um i think that should be okay 
Right, let's pop you in there then. And I'll do the same thing and kind of bury this quite deep. And maybe some fresh compost will give it the boost it needs to catch up with everybody else. There we go. If you've grown um, orange habanero before or another kind of habanero, let me know. Is that to be expected <laughs> that they should be tiny little plants in comparison to a Portugal? Ah, I lifted that one out slightly better. Pop that one in. Go. Okay, there we go. And label in. Now, some of you might remember that uh, one of my New Year's resolutions was to get better at labelling. I uh, really invested in a lot of these bright coloured lolly sticks this year and it seems to be doing the trick. I'm doing well with my labelling so far. Now every one of these already has a label in here um, so I'm just keeping the same labels with and if I'm noticing that any are fading I'm going to uh, redo them. So really trying to keep on top of my labelling. And the other thing that was uh, one of my New Year's resolutions was to pot on in a timely fashion and not leave poor little plants in getting root bound in their cells. Um, so this is partly why I was very eager to do this early on in my 12 weeks of Easter because I'm trying to keep that resolution and I'm getting pretty excited about these chilies now. Honestly, don't even eat that much chili. I do like spicy food, but um, I tend to have chili in like sauces or dried. So um, when these, when, Look at me, look at my confidence. If these all come to maturity and I have a nice harvest of chilies this year, um, I'm probably going to be doing something like that with them, making sauces, dehydrating them, that sort of thing, rather than just using them fresh. Okay, that's another Portugal. Right, I will continue with these and um, I'll see you when they're all done. Job done. So a tally. Now I believe I sowed five of each variety and the only one got, that got a five for five is the Portugal. So, and they are all really lovely strong plants. We then got three hot lemon and hot lemon was the one that I really wanted. So I'm super pleased with that. And they all three look really good plants. I've got the two small orange habanero. There was one small as well of Hungarian hot wax. So a small Hungarian hot wax, but then three large ones. So that got four out of five. Cayenne only got two out of five. So I've got two of those. And I've got one early jalapeno, just one of those, and one ring of fire. Okay, and that is my full tally of chilies for well, it's not, is it? It's not my full tally of chilies for this year because I've got two um, Chinese five colour, Chinese five colour, and I've also got one of something else I can't remember. So, <laughs> so there are still more chilies to add to all of this lot, um, but really pleased with these. Now, there's one other job that I want to do before I take these back into the house. They've been watered, but because they're going to be in the house, and this is um, just multi purpose compost, um, we know what can live in multi-purpose compost and which loves to hatch when it's indoors and that's fungus gnats and I want to avoid that as much as I can. There are a few in there now. Um, so I'm going to, oh, you know what else I should do? Should I pinch out the tops of these? Okay, well that can be our question for day two. Should I pinch out the tops of these chilies now that I've repotted them? Um, but what I was going to say is I'm just going to top these with some grit or vermiculite just to cover the surface which will um, help prevent any fungus gnats from making homes in these plants. But um, yeah, that was a good job done. Day two, done. 